Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your second Grunt.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can install Grunt.js. Okay then, so if we want to start working with Grunt then we're going to have to go through a few different steps to install it properly. And uh, this might seem a little bit daunting at first because there are quite a few steps but believe me it's only going to take a few minutes. So, the first step is to install Node.js on our computer. And remember, I've left a link down below if you want to check out the playlist Node.js for Beginners where I'm going to show you how to install that. It's dead simple. Or just go to nodejs.org and uh, download that from there. So install that and that's going to install the NPM as well. So we can use that now to install the Grunt CLI globally. Now the Grunt CLI is the Grunt command line interface, which means we can use Grunt commands in the terminal. Okay. So we're going to do that first in a minute. Uh, then we need to create a package.json file because that's going to track our Grunt version and all of the Grunt plugins that we install. Then we're going to install uh, install Grunt locally into our project. So we're installing Grunt CLI globally so we can use the Grunt commands. And then we're installing Grunt locally into our project. So we split into two, okay? Grunt CLI and then Grunt itself. So that's so we can kind of gruntify our projects and use a grunt file if, uh, in it if you like. So once we've done that, we go ahead and create a grunt file.js file. And uh, this is going to control all of our tasks. We're going to register tasks to run here. And we're also going to set up our configuration and load plugins into this file. You don't have to understand much about it just yet. I am going to explain this when we come to create one. And then finally, we can install plugins to add the functionality to our grunt file. Um, so that we can do things like concatenate files or minify files, that kind of thing. So in this playlist, we're going to go through all of these steps and we're also going to go through some plugin examples. So the first thing you want to do, like I say, install Node.js. Then we're going to install the Grunt CLI globally. So I'm going to come to my terminal. And by the way, this terminal is a plugin or a package for the Atom text editor, which I'm using here. So if you want to download that package, it is called um, Platformio. IDE terminal, okay? So go ahead and download that. You can work in there like me, or alternatively, you can just open like PowerShell or uh, CMD, your command prompt, and you can work in there as well, okay? Just navigate to your directory of your project and do that using the CD command, um, and then we can do the same commands as we would here, all right? So let's go ahead now and install a Grunt CLI globally. So to do that, we just say npm, install grunt hyphen cli and then i'm going to do a little hyphen and a g and that means install this globally meaning we can use this wherever we want on the computer we don't have to install it every time we create a new project so go ahead and do that and that's going to install okay so now we've done that we can successfully use grunt commands uh, but first of all what i want to do next is create a package.json file and if you've seen my node series you'll know that a package.json file just tracks or your dependencies and other information about your project. So I'm going to install, uh, sorry, create a package.json file by typing in npm init. And this is going to throw up a series of questions. I'm just going to speed through all of these in a second. So the name, Grunt Playlist, that's fine. Version 1, uh, description, nope, entry point. Um, we'll call this app.js. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is just delete these bad boys now because we don't need these anymore. Okay, so app.js is going to be my entry point. Uh, test command, we don't have one. Git repository, can't be bothered. Keywords, no. Author, me. License, fine. Is this okay? Yep. Okay, so now we have created a package.json file. You can see that there now. And if I open this, you're going to see two properties right here, dependencies and dev dependencies. So we're going to track all of our grunt packages in this dev dependencies property. Okay, and I'll show you how we do that later on. But let's go back to our list. We've done a package.json file now. Now we need to install Grunt locally. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to say npm install Grunt. And I'm going to pass a save flag and a hyphen dev. So what this is going to do is install Grunt into our project. Okay. It's going to save it in this package.json file right here. And it's going to save it in the dev dependencies. OK, because I passed through that hyphen dev flag or option as well. OK, cool. So now you can see that Grunt has been installed into our project and it's listed as a dev dependency right here. Currently, we're on version 1.0.1. Cool. 
So let's go back to the list. We've created a package.json uh, file, installed grunt locally. Now we need to create a grunt file.js. And the grunt file.js is where we control the configuration of our plugins that we install and also where we register tasks that we want to run. And I know this might not be making much sense just yet, but as we dive into that file, it's going to make a lot more sense, I promise you. So I'm just going to right click up here, go to new file, and I'm going to call this grunt file with capital letter.js. Okay, so this at the end of the day is just going to be a module, right? And we're going to export everything that's in it, but I'm not going to create this file. I'm not going to write anything in it just yet. I'm going to do that in the next file. The next step is to install plugins after we've created this grunt.js file and um, we've kind of padded it out a little bit. And again, I'm going to go into that later on. So now this doesn't look as daunting. That was all pretty simple. Install node, install grunt CLI, create a package.json file and install grunt locally. We've created this file and in the very next tutorial, we're going to pad this out and start running some custom tasks.